downforce. That word that every Formula 1 fan will have heard hundreds of times. It's fundamental to how an F1 car works, and the wings used to generate it are an iconic part of Formula 1 design. However, most people don't really know what it is. There's a big clue in the name with downforce. If you take it apart into its two syllables, down and force, you get a basic meaning. It's a force that pushes the car down. To find the origin of downforce, we have to look to the sky, to planes. An aeroplane lifts off the ground because the shape of its wing causes air to flow at different speeds over the two sides. The top side of the wing produces low pressure as the air moves over it faster, with the bottom side producing high pressure. The wing moves in the direction of the low pressure, meaning the wing moves upwards, giving us positive lift. Wings on racing cars work in the same way, but are inverted so the cars don't, you know, try to fly. This means that the wing shape causes air to slow above the wing, causing high pressure, and the air on the bottom side accelerates around the wing, causing low pressure. The wing moves in the direction of the low pressure, causing negative lift, pressing the car into the ground, allowing the tyres to generate more grip. So that explains the shape of the wing. But what about the plates on the end of the wings, aptly named end plates? These exist to improve the efficiency of the wing, because the difference in pressure across the two surfaces of the wing creates a distortion of something called the flow field. This means that the air behind the car is thrown upwards, creating a rooster tail of air that can be seen when F1 cars run in the wet. The high pressure air on the top side of the wing is able to leak around the tips of the wing, reducing the low pressure on the underside and therefore reducing the wing's efficiency. The leakage at the tips combined with the forward motion of the car sets up a tornado-like spiral of air called the tip vortex. One solution to this is to make the wings have a larger span, but after accidents in 1968 caused by long span wings, regulations were introduced to restrict their size. Therefore, teams introduced end plates onto the end of their wings, which makes it harder for air to leak onto the low pressure side of the wing, increasing the efficiency. The final part of downforce is ground effect, which turns the underside of the car into one huge wing. Skirts are used at the side of the car to seal the wing to the ground and stop leakage, with the whole underside of the car made into a wing shape called a venturi. The difference in height between the front and back of the venturi and the low pressure from the underside of the rear wing causes air to flow very quickly through the venturi, creating low pressure, sucking the car into the ground very efficiently. Ground effect means that you can create a lot of downforce without creating any drag because the wing is not exposed to the air. It was discovered in 1977 but has since been banned, but is due to make a comeback on the new regulation 2022 F1 cars. And that's all you need to know about downforce. I hope you enjoyed watching, make sure you're subscribed, and have a great rest of your day. Bye bye. <laughs>